Hey guys, it's Sarah. Thank you so much for watching. So in today's video, I am kicking off a new series on my channel that I'm very excited about. I wanted to figure out a good way to make sure that I'm rotating through my entire lipstick collection and really getting use out of all of my lipsticks. In this series, I am going to be randomly selecting, using a random number generator, four lipsticks out of my collection each month, the start of each month. And so each week out of the month, I'll focus on one of those lipsticks. So it's kind of a good way of shopping my stash, making sure I'm getting use out of my entire lipstick collection. I did talk about in my recent Project Pan chat where I talked about products that I do and don't enjoy panning. I talked about how I really don't enjoy putting lipsticks in my Project Pans because I don't want to focus on just one lipstick all the time. I want to make sure I'm getting use out of my entire lipstick collection, really enjoying the variety I have. I have tons of colors of lipstick. Um, all kinds of different shades and I like to enjoy all of them and I feel like this will be a good way for me to make sure that I am using all of my lipsticks. Maybe that I'm focusing on certain lipsticks that I don't often use. I've been kind of playing around with this idea for a while and trying to figure out how I wanted to structure it and I saw that someone that I follow here on YouTube, her name is Katarina. Um, I'm probably butchering the pronunciation of her name. But she's from Finland and she does lots of videos about project pans and shopping your stash similar to what I do and she um, has been doing like a random lip product of the week where she just randomly selects one lipstick to focus on that week So I'm gonna kind of do it the way that she's been doing it I'm gonna select all four of my lipsticks for the month at the beginning of the month and then then at the end of the month We'll kind of recap. I'll show you some looks that I did with them um, How I use them my goal is gonna be to just use each one twice that week um, You know if I use it more than twice great but honestly, I don't wear lipstick every day, so I think twice is a good goal. Also, it doesn't mean that I'm only allowed to wear that lipstick that week. There's no strict rules here. I'm obviously allowed to use whatever lipstick I want, but I would like to get use out of that randomly selected lipstick at least twice that week. So I've got all of my lipsticks here in front of me, and I'm going to pull up my makeup inventory where I have numbered each one, I've assigned a number to each one, and then we're gonna go to random.org and select Four lipsticks for the month of February. I'm really excited to see what we what we end up with. So I'm entering the numbers 1 through 22. That's all my lipsticks and then my two lip glosses. I have 22 total. So we will see. Let's pick the first one. So I just generated the first number um, and the number that came out is 21. So now I'm going to go to my list. 21 is my NYX. <laughs> this is funny because it's a product I wear all the time. But it is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. This is like my favorite lip product lately, so I will have no problem using this, but it'll still be fun to focus on it. Um, I can obviously pair this with other, you know, over the top of other lipsticks if I want to. I can wear it on its own. I love this lip gloss. I mean, I'm happy that it chose it. Um, let's see if we can get some ones that I maybe don't wear quite as often. <laughs> um, so the next number is going to be 11. So 11 corresponds to, ooh, okay, fun. Um, that one is Wet n Wild Don't Blink Pink. So this is one of the Wet n Wild, I think it's their Mega Last lipstick, just their $1.99 lipstick. This is a hot pink. I actually was planning on putting this in my makeup basket for the month anyway, so I'm really excited about that one. Yay, this is a really pretty color, and this will be perfect for like Valentine's Day too. All right, next we have the number seven, so that is going to be my Ulta lipstick in the shade Pink Chocolate, also a very appropriate name for Valentine's Day. This is a shade that I don't think is available any longer, but it's just kind of a brownish, pinkish nude. Also really pretty for, well, really any time of year, but I think it's appropriate for Valentine's Day too. And then the fourth and final number is going to be 15. That is Fig by Madame Glam. Let's see if I can find that one. So here we have that one. This is one that I honestly really haven't used that much, but it's a really pretty kind of sheer reddish berry. I'm excited to use that some more because I haven't had this for very long, but I've only worn it. I think I've only actually worn it out once. Yeah, so... The four shades are my NYX Butter Gloss and Creme Brulee, that's like an old favorite. Not really an old favorite, but it's a favorite. I wear it all the time anyway. Um, then we've got Don't Blink Pink by Wet n Wild, which is a hot pink. I like how there's a nice variety that I ended up randomly choosing. And then we've got our kind of brownish pinkish nude, that's um, Ulta Pink Chocolate. And then last but not least, we have kind of a sheer reddish berry color from Madame Glam. So. Quite a variety here. I'm really excited to dig into these lip products some more. I think this will be a ton of fun. Like I said, I will kind of recap at the end of the month or maybe just at the beginning of next month. I'll see 
how I ended up planning it out. But to kind of show you how I ended up using each of these lipsticks, what my final thoughts are. Some of these are shades I haven't used a ton, so I'll be able to kind of get an even better opinion of them, or an even more in-depth opinion of them, I guess. So, so yeah, I'm really excited for this new series. I think it'll be a good way to really make sure that I'm using all of the, what I have within my lipstick collection, not just focusing on the same like one or two lipsticks over and over again, um, and really getting to enjoy all my lipsticks too. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. I do lots of videos about shopping your stash, using what you have, um, project pans, everything that I use is cruelty free. Um, so I'd love to have you stick around for future videos and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.